Hello and welcome to another screencast of Rubyology. This is screencast number nine. Today we're going to be talking about something that I think is really fun, really cool. It's called uh, RPC and many all languages pretty much have this. It's remote procedure calls. So it's not uh, unique to Ruby but it's very powerful, cross-platform, takes advantage of uh, the web infrastructure and it uses HTTP posts um, logic and behind the scenes for executing remote calls on uh, or calls against remote servers so it's it's basically an alternative to soap and uh, rest um, as we talked about in our last podcast um, but uh, you'll find that this is a very powerful um, and probably not used enough of a solution um, a listener wrote in and was asking about uh, web org web orb RPC and I thought this would be a good primer um, for folks for that uh, podcast that hopefully I'll put out uh, tomorrow um, so I want to walk you through this it's it's really cool comes baked into Ruby and uh, with a couple lines of code you can uh, execute uh, some very interesting uh, things so first of all we're going to start by doing a require and uh, here you have to put in the XML oops XML RPC slash client and um, this is a, a library it's a standard library from Michael Newman um, that comes bundled into Ruby so we'll do that require and then we have to actually define um, the web address that we're going to be running the remote procedure call against so uh, what I usually do is I'll do a server and then this you have to put this and uh, XML RPC, this is standard uh, Ruby client uh, dot new two and new two is a method inside of this uh, remote procedure call library so you do have to use that um, and in parentheses here we put in the the URL that has the uh, RPC or the, the, the procedure on their server that's accessible um, this example is a popular one that returns states um, by the numeric, they're in alphabetic order and uh, you can submit something and, and get uh, like an ordered state back. So um, for here let's do HTTP colon slash slash, uh, this is a popular example as I mentioned, betty.userland.com slash rpc2. Now something very important, you know a lot of uh, servers you know you don't notice this in your browser but a lot of times they are case sensitive so when you walk through these examples and you use URLs and uh, even methods in the URLs uh, pay close attention to the documentation on these APIs um, because they do uh, many oftentimes are case sensitive so that's that's our uh, URL so I'm just gonna output uh, what this returns uh, all in one line so if we do a puts server dot call and in here is going to be their methods. So there you have it documented as examples dot get state name. And then we're going to pass in a parameter. And this is the, um, the numerical, in, in, in alphabetic order, which, um, which element do you want of the states, of all the states in the United States. So actually, let's just uh, run that. And uh, the first state in the United States in alphabetical order, let's see what that is. We're going to Apple R. So we're actually running a command. Whoa, what did I do? Oh, <laughs> if y'all have seen my, my past screencast, you'll see that I'm not a very good speller. Let's run that again. There we go. So the first state in alphabetic water in the United States is Alabama. Um, if we wanted to, uh, let's let's see what uh, the third one is. Actually, let's do the second one. I'm in Arizona. That must be Arizona. Well, you know they're not. Maybe these aren't in alphabetic order. What are these in? Because Alaska would be in there too. And I ran a three a while ago. 
three came back as California. You have to read some more information on this API, but you kind of get the hint there. You see how this works? Three lines of code, and we're executing a uh, a query against a uh, a remote method on a remote server. And this is not Rails or anything. There we go, Arizona. So they are alphabetical order. Um, I stumbled on a really cool one the other day. So that this one you you probably find some good uses for, but I I stumbled on one that I thought was uh, really really cool. It's the UPC database. So if we do, um, it has all the UPCs that are are being used by stores. Oh, Guys, it's really powerful. I think of lots of things you do with it. But if you do www.upcdatabase.com, and here. Uh, it's going to be uh, slash RPC. And here on our server call, uh, this is just one method. And uh, this one, like I was mentioning, definitely is case sensitive. I typed this in first without UPC and caps, and it didn't run at all. Um, and I have an example of a UPC code here. <laughs> this is from. Actually, this example came from uh, the Ruby Cookbook from O'Reilly. Um, very, very cool book. Uh, 8787756654. I think this is it. Let, let's just find out. Let's just make sure this is the right UPC code and the right URL. So we're basically going against that uh, UPC database and we're sending them a UPC code and it's going to return back information in its database. There we go. About that UPC code. So here was the UPC code that we sent in. And you'll see that these are all, these have, um, the way this is parsed, this is an array basically. And um, like here, UPC is the name of this field. Um, UPC here is the name of this uh, field here. So um, what we can do, I mean, this is good information. I mean, here you can see like the issuer country is United States. Uh, the message is database entry found. The size is 128. Uh, let's see. Description is Dr. Browner's peppermint oil soap. And um, is coupon is false. So um, what's cool about this, let's go back and uh, assign this to a variable. We'll say, uh, I don't know, we'll call it response. And then here, let's just put out the arrays. Let's do a puts uh, response and just using our normal array logic, uh, let's say, um, oh, what was one of those things I saw in there was um, description. Let's run that and just make sure this works. Okay, what do we do different? Oh, <laughs> how about that? Because I was, I'm not putting anymore. I don't want to save this either. We're not putting anymore. So let me run that now. I'm assigning that uh, output to a variable, and then we're going to parse the uh, array of that variable. There we go. So we did a description. It came back with Dr. Browner's peppermint oil. So um, here we could say uh, UPC Very cool. So now we submitted a query against the UPC database. We got the UPC number, description. You can probably, you're probably already thinking of a bunch of ideas that you can use this for. So um, I'll let you have fun with that. And uh, please join me on uh, the next Rubyology podcast where I'll be covering uh, some more examples of RPC, um, specifically using the web orb. 
uh, project for uh, Adobe Flash and Flex. So until next time, thanks for joining.